everyone is ready for a lively conversation because that is about to happen right now. And uh, the topic is about education and really looking at how secondary schools and tertiary schools are changing to meet the demands of the workforce and also to prepare young Africans to enter that workforce. So we have a very esteemed panel. Are students today more or less demanding of their schools and why? And I would say that students today demand more autonomy. Um, they are looking for a teacher to be their guide and their coach, and they're really looking for opportunities to be more self-directed and to chart their own path. Excellent, thank you so much, Ms. Smith. If you could repeat your high school experience all over again, what would you do differently? That's a very personal question, you know, because <laughs> I went to a convent, which was the kind of schools girls in my generation went to. Mm -hmm. And we had a great education, very diversified from literature, philosophy to science, really great. But maybe we should have introduced earlier to the life with the other gender. Maybe that would have been a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, round of applause, thank you so much. Excellent. So what we want to do on the panel is to really talk about opportunities that are available around the world for young Africans who are still in school mm -hmm. and also for young Africans who are entering the workforce. So to get started, we want to, of course, mention the MasterCard Foundation. If you're here from MasterCard, mm -hmm. please have a, a stand so we can uh, see you and just recognize you, MasterCard Foundation people. Thank you so much. You're the reason why we're here. You're the reason why we're here. Thank you so much. We want to say a huge thank you to Mrs. Rita Roy, the president and CEO of MasterCard. That's why we're here. And MasterCard is doing amazing things in helping young Africans to actualize their dreams. So let's just play a short uh, video where you can actually hear from the scholars themselves. So we're going to play a very brief video for you now. Being a MasterCard Foundation scholar for me means being in a community. I see this as a place of belonging. We come to share ideas on how to create a positive, lasting change in our communities. Being part of the MasterCard Foundation means that you're part of this big, growing network where students are very like-minded. They're passionate about the continent of Africa. They're passionate about their home countries and they want to see change and they want to be part of that change. And they want to impact the growth of not only their communities, but the continent as a whole. We carry our people's dreams from where we come from. Most of us are literally the dreams and the hopes of our communities. And enlightened, we can bring about change. Excellent, thank you so much. Yeah.